Hello and welcome to episode 26 of the Auto Know Better podcast. I'm Smarty and tonight I'm joined by OKB regulars Matt, Jane, Luke. How are we doing, boys? Not too bad. Absolutely right. outstanding. Are we well? Are you wonderful? Are you all refreshed yeah. after a heavy weekend? I didn't take yeah. part, so I'm all right. Uh, nice and clean, will. anyway. You'll have been under uh, under some undercarriage somewhere, won't you, Jay? That's right, mate. That's where you'll always find <laughs> me. his name? <laughs> Alan. Uh, Alan. <laughs> Alan. Or John. <laughs> Alan. Um, so, so like, before we kick off, lads, um, I just want to say uh, that we'd like to dedicate this episode to the 56 people who tragically lost their lives on this day, this very day, at Valley Parade 36 years ago. Our thoughts are with the friends and families of those affected by the horrific events of that day. Um, no one obviously should go to a football game and never return home to their loved ones. Um, so, yeah, thoughts and prayers with those all affected. I think it's also um, Mental Health Awareness Week, and Gilly has prepared a few things that he'd like to say on behalf of all of us from the OKB, if you uh, if you want to take it away, mate. Yeah, sure. I just wanted to mention a little bit about uh, the subject. It's... Um... Long time there's been stigma associated with it, um, and I think socially it, it always seemed a bit unacceptable for mental feelings. Um, there's been a lot of movement in that regard uh, recently, and I know that I speak for all of us that ought to know better that any any of us are available, and anyone can feel free to come speak to us. We do talk shit, but you know, <laughs> we'll a lot talk, of it. Yeah, we'll be there. And, Some more than others. Um, but alternatively, <laughs> if you uh, if you want to speak to someone from a professional context, there are charities and support available. Andy's Man Club have done a lot uh, in, in that sort of area. Samaritans have been around a long time and they're very good at what they do. Uh, we'll share and we'll tag in the comment section uh, of the videos. And they have done really good work and, and clubs and support are popping up all over the place at the moment. Uh, it's been a really shit time for the past year. And there's, there's, been, um, there's been comments like we're all in the same boat. Um, but there was one that I just wanted to mention that, that I'd seen some time ago that, that stuck with me. He said, we're not all in the same boat. Some are in a little rowing boat and some are in a super yacht. Some don't have a boat at all. We're all in the same storm, but a lot of people are more protected than others. And the upshot to that is that everyone's experiences are different and it's okay to not be okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah well said, mate, well said. Like I say, uh, you're not alone. Whether, you know, if, if ever you guys want to speak to any of us, by all means, our DMs are open, I'm sure. Um, so to move on to a slightly bigger, better topic... Uh, the predictions from the wonderful win at Tottenham, my friend, if you'd like to take them away. Yeah, we'll have a look. Um, so, <laughs> Any movements in the table at all? Uh, well, um, slight movement in that Bren has slightly extended his lead. Bastard. He's gone from three to four points Proper ahead bastard. of you, Smarty. <laughs> mm. um, but the, yeah. the, 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 the really... Uh, Entertaining bit is that Rex has got another minus five. <laughs> <laughs> I did. did he go he against Leeds again? One. He wasn't the only one. Mad oh. Adam also oh. minus five. Fucking um, scumbags. So, <laughs> so just, just to run by what we had, um, yeah, Rex went 3 0 Spurs minus five. Jay went 4 1 Leeds, one point. Uh, Carl I actually went thought the I was going to get it this time. We were close, close mm. to no cigar. No, you got one point. Uh, Carl went with a 1-1 one, one draw by virtue of the fact that that was the most predicted result. Uh, Bren went 2-1 lead, so as I say, he got his, his, his one point. I went with a draw. Render went with a draw. Mez went with a draw. Smarty, you went with a draw. Sai went with a draw. Uh, Shannon went with a draw and Stats went with a draw. So that leaves Adam went 3-1 Spurs. Oh, sorry. Actually, there were three people that ended up with minus five because Beckett also went 3 Oh, really? Gibbo. Unbelievable. Uh, to be fair, Gilly, just to add, you initially went for a, uh, a Leeds loss uh, for the first time, if you remember, on the pod really? last week and uh, changed his decision just before the end of the pod. So, <laughs> scrape through. I think I, I don't absolutely. think we should allow it. I think it should be a Chris Tarrant. Yeah, absolutely. The thought process was there. It was there, wasn't it? So, you can piss hey. off. <laughs> but the man who usually goes with a draw, if he thinks we're gonna uh, we're gonna struggle to actually go full knacker and go no, yeah fair, against I, Leeds. I, I, to be fair, I went I Never went for the draw on the basis that I, I I couldn't go for one of so-called big six to beat us at our place because it was last one outstanding. That nah, that was the theory that. behind it. We didn't um, get any um, texts off uh, Big Side Johnson trying to give us a score after game again this time. <laughs> not this time, no, not this time. <laughs> 
Um, so just a quick run down the table. Brain on 21 points with Smarty following on 17. Luke on 16. Within five points of the top of the league. Uh, Jay on 14 in fourth. Myself on 12 in fifth. Then Cy, um, Stats, Carl and Becky all on plus points. Shannon on zero points. Adam on minus four and Jason on minus nine. And I can't, I can't, okay, I can't yeah. pad anymore. We've lost Smarty, haven't we? <laughs> oh yeah, we have. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, fucking. I, I thought he was just stunned at the table. I thought he'd just no, sort no. Of, you know, we, we, we can't we speak. Him, we lost him a minute or two ago, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I just had to try and keep talking while we were going. I didn't even know oh, he'd gone. It. To be fair, um, <laughs> but we got the shot. Yeah, the show must go on and all that. So what we'll do until he does come back, which I'm sure he will once he's. Uh, put twenty pence in his internet meter. Uh, is we'll 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 go on and have a bit of a conversation around that that exciting performance uh, uh, against Spurs. I mean, there's nothing else, no other way, but better way of putting it. I don't suppose it was it was unreal. Uh, it was it was a class performance. Uh, what did you make of it, Jay? Then all in all, hey mate, I was fucking buzzing, mate. Sorry it. about that, here guys. Is, look, here he is. All right. Okay, I'll did a huge. I just shot me I've just bought disappeared. a new one. <laughs> Yeah, no, I um, I, I was buzzing, man. I enjoyed it. Like it was just, it were almost a complete performance. Do you know what I mean? And to play that well against one of these so-called big six sides, even though they're easily shy big compared six. to most of them, um, just without Calvin playing as well, it, it were fucking mint. I mean, we got some good fortune there. That goal that got ruled out for Kane, I thought that were ridiculous. To be fair, I mean, how could you call that offside? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but how many yeah, times at the same time, happened? we've had worse. We have, yeah, had worse. And, and I disagree with those as well. I just, I just hear the whole yeah. fucking concept. It, that, that for me, as well as any that have happened to us, showed that it doesn't work. It just, it doesn't work. Yeah, I it was an absolute rash. legitimate. I thought it was an absolute legitimate goal myself, to be honest. You know, I but it's sometimes it's good to benefit from the, you know, of what we've been fucking done for so many times. You know, in this season, they always say that oh, this shit reckon the. The shit evens itself out over a season, and I think we're owed a few more to be fair. But it was good to get one our way for a change. And in all yeah. honesty, I feel like it, it were kind of it was justice in a way for that first game we had against them when we were on top of that one as well. And then they, they just got some quick fire goals and it killed us. Do you know what I mean? And it, it was nice to go and get us revenge and to show a team like that that it, we, we've pretty much swapped places with them since that game. They've turned to shit and we've turned awesome. So, mm. yeah. Oh, oh, well, I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all right now. Yeah. It's end of the season. I'm, uh, we'll be fine. But, I mean, it's I don't think anyone did badly. Um, I think Melier were cracking again. And it were interesting seeing him perform against France's current number one. Um, and, yeah, just, I just thought everyone played well. I thought it was a good game. Even Alioski had a great game. It one of those performances when he actually turns up and everything he does kind of works for a change. Yeah, um, it's nice to see yeah. him do well. He's been taking he did some have a cracking game. game. To be fair, like I think <clears> that was his <throat> what, probably one of his best performances. I watched the game back me yesterday and I thought, do you know what? He was actually fucking played out of his skin, especially when he was yeah. man mark. Well, he wasn't even man marking Bale, but he was he was mm. playing Bale played playing out there on the right. You know, and Bale's Bale is still class no matter what you say. He's, he was he was shy against us the other day, but he he's still shown that he has got that touch of class and he is world class ultimately at yeah. that level. And and Ali Oski made him look made him look average and lazy. To be fair, his work rate yeah. just 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 made just made Bale look like he was a he, he was a Sunday league type player. But um, yeah, I'll give my thoughts now. Smart just before you left, Jay's the first person to go on to yeah, uh, spot on me to his first that. game. Um, but yeah, no, I, pretty much the same. I just thought we looked so energetic, complete. Polar opposite to the Brighton game for me. Mm. We ex the exact same squad, exact same team that started, and we were the polar fucking opposite. We were we'd gone from we've gone from being lazy, lethargic, and and second to every you know 50 50 to literally fucking playing out of his skin uh, and actually wanting looking like we wanted to put each player wanted to play for that shirt. Uh, I reckon like I, you I, to prove a point in it and send the same lads back out and said you will do it this time. Yeah, you go out there well, and I, perform I, like you should. 
I'd hate to I'd hate to have been a fly in the wall because I imagine that he can give quite a quite a dressing down can uh, can be LC, you know. <laughs> Probably the mix down. of English and Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> a mixture, yeah, because I think he's got enough English in there to actually tell somebody if you've been fucking shite <laughs> or you know, uh, you need to book your fucking ideas up, pal, or you're gonna be playing at fucking Leighton Orient next year. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Um, Do you think he uses this translator to give bollockings? I don't. I don't. <laughs> Can you imagine? That little bloke fucking stood next to him. Yeah. Patrick <laughs> Dunk, and he was shit. You fucking yeah, bastard. You fucking yeah. shit bastard. Can you imagine him looking up at Melia going, you're crap, you shit bastard. Fuck <laughs> your ideas up. He's like looking up right. three feet. But yeah, I don't think I don't think I've got anything else to um to add, really, other than, other than I mean it was it was obvious. We all watched it, didn't we? I'm not gonna go into it too much detail. I'll let you two lads uh Break it down and see what you think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Do you like well, going with your top, mate? Yeah, just just going to reflect on a couple of things that you said there. First off, Alioski had a great game. So a question back to to Jay and Luca, I suppose is um, you, you also mentioned about the, the wanted to prove something. Now, if you think of the VAR situation that we had in the first game, when that stupid, stupid decision we're given against Alioski. Yeah. Um, I don't. I, I, can you both re- remember that right on edge at box? It, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just completely crazy decision. So, yeah, just to play it back to you, how much of that that massive performance that you put in was about proving that he, he still had it? Not only that, the performance last week, his shit performance against Brighton, that stupid fucking penalty. You know, he had a lot to make yeah. up for. Did Alioski? And I, I almost think that he's had a bit of a carrot dangled in front of him, from what I understand. In, mm. in terms of a new contract, because Bielsa's has openly yeah. said we've started negotiations with him and his people, um, to him, yeah. and and it's up to you now to prove you want to be here. And I've seen, him, an, I've seen another release today saying Biel, uh, that that Leeds has changed Alioski, has made Alioski. Sorry, I forget where the, where the tweet was from. It was uh, some journal, um, um, and it was a, it was a it was a sort of short short. Um, it was just it was just a bit bit ly link and it was just around it, I didn't read it actually but it was about, it basically just said that Leeds has made him so uh evening Joe how are you doing? I'm right. Joe Evening Joe hope you're well mate Thanks um, for joining no, us that's interesting what you say that Luke and um do you know what when people are saying about whether he wants to stay or he wants to leave and stuff like that you don't put in a performance like that if you don't give a shit. Yeah. Mm. No, it, yeah. What, what, what interested is the fact that you know, obviously, pre, pri, prior to the, obviously the game and stuff, that so many neighbors thought well, we may not get anything out of it, and we might, you know, there'll be a, well an overwhelming amount of people had us to draw, uh, and not so many to, to have us a win, you know, and then to put in that performance based on the previous performance, with, you know, at Brighton was just unbelievable. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was another one of them sort of games. I was just sat smiling throughout just really enjoying what we were doing, what we were seeing, everything that we're good at, we were doing well, we were pressing well, we were defending well. Alioski were like a bloody puppy running alongside uh, Gareth Bale, you know, one of those little idiot bloody uh, Yorkshire Terriers or whatever. You know, it were, it were great, it were fantastic, oh, yeah. and I really, really enjoyed it, and uh, hope it continues now. We've had his little blip against Brighton, you know, and it's good to continue with that form from, from beating the other three. Big teams, probably really around Ben Bale shouting. Have you got any golf clubs I can buy, Gareth? Have you got any golf clubs? <laughs> yeah, I think you golf, golf club and fuck off back to spinning, you shit bastard. Um, <laughs> just, just, just the other thing to mention is just, um, you know, we talked about their forward line, and I know that we had the polls. I did 50 50, by the way, Luke, even though you were showing off about winning it. I did 50 50 <laughs> did the poll. Did it, did it the Spurs right? versus City poll. Did it? Did it poll end up 50-50? Ended up 50 50. I tell well, you what, I'm going to log on the computer because I bet you it weren't fucking 50 50. It always is to a point percentage. <laughs> and I was fucking right. You were so loser, you were like, oh, I tell you. But yeah, so what, what, what was absolutely <laughs> fantastic about that game is that we could have been, we could have won that 5 6 1. Um, oh, and their keeper one, had a blinder. So yeah, Larice had a really good game. That, I, I personally think that Larice were their best player. Um, and to come out of that game, having won it so handsomely, is, is, is quite amazing. And I also think that even though um, th- there were a bit of pissiness, I don't know, a bit of schoolboy after the game, it, it was a case of um, got, you know, momentum would have swung our way had that goal been given. Well, for a start, it was offside. I don't like the fact that it goes mm. to that, but we've been done for worse than that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, but have, equally, at, at the same exam, time, but... momentum didn't sweep, um, swing the other way when we conceded the goal. 
So, no, you know, right, just yeah. conceding another one doesn't necessarily mean that that would have been the case. So, and you, you know, you still have that thing of, oh, shit, we're going to crumble. We didn't. No, we didn't. I'm so, you know, you. there's no guarantee <laughs> that I, 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 it wouldn't have finished 3 2 anyway. So, yeah, I'm not having any of that. No, I'm with you on no. that, one, Gilly. No, definitely just to not. Just answer what Carl's asking us there, would we be happy if Alioski signed a new deal? Well, yeah, I would. I, um, as I've said, he's inconsistent. He's definitely got the ability. Bielsa trusts him, so why would you not want him in the squad at least? I mean, I think he knows himself that he's going to be pushed down the pecking order in the summer. And I think that's probably mm. a, a part of his umming and ahhing about whether to stay or not. But yeah, I'd, I'd 100% keep him in the squad. Well, as a fan so. base, as a fan base, we were very quick to jump on that fucking rumour, weren't we? Uh, Fickle. About, Gal- Fickle, about yeah. Galatasaray scum. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, and it was, I, 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 I'll, be, I'll hold my hands up. I think we were, I think I think we all sort of made, made a. Uh, sort of a group decision and through Twitter that he'd been offered this contract to play Champions League football and he, and he pretty much accepted it. Now, I was guilty of it. I know I know a lot of us in the group were as well at some point. Um, and had he done that, we said it would tarnish his reputation and some of us were mm. saying he's got to do what's the best for him. You know, he's only got he's only got a short period of time mm. to play Champions yeah. League football. Now the shoe's on the other foot, he's, he's potentially staying. How fucking stupid do we feel? I mean, I feel a bit <laughs> right, dickhead. Uh, I want him to stay. I do want him to I'd stay like as a squad to player. As a squad player, he's not going to be our left back mm. next season. No, no. We will sign a good left back. Yeah, we need, yeah, uh, we need an established yeah. player of left back, like so. Definitely. If we want to push on. So but, I yeah, was the voice yeah. of, reason, yeah. of reason at that point, and I never said I wanted him to go. I wanted him to stay and in the squad. All having said that, I did say if I went there, I wouldn't like it. But when the Napoli rumor came out, I'm like, do you know what? can live with that if he really yeah. wants to go and they're, they're going to offer him first team football week in week out you know i can live with that that's fine um yeah, but uh yeah, you know, I'd, like to to, play I'd like to keep him hmm. i think um like you say any of the players that has, has taken us up you know if i wouldn't want to see him at another english club um no. but if they were to make make waves in spain germany or wherever else apart from gallascombe um, I'd wish them well, you know. Thanks, thanks for everything you've done for us and, and all the best sort of thing. But, but hopefully, you know, he'll, if he, I'd like to see him stay. But I think that may take us perfectly into the uh, poll because that was one of the options. Um, Luke, can I hand that over to you for to run it through? You mate, certainly please? can. You certainly can. As you all probably know by now, all our all our listeners and watchers, uh, each week we give the listeners the opportunity. Uh, to choose the main subject of the poll, uh, sorry, of the of the podcast uh, through means of a poll. Uh, so Smarty very kindly yesterday popped out uh, four options, and we had uh, contract negotiations. Who does Bielsa keep? We had if we can't sign R- Rodrigo, oh, sorry, Rodrigo Paul. Rodrigo <laughs> Paul. <laughs> who are we in for? Who are we in for? Pereira with a question mark. Uh, has the burnout myth now been put to bed and and expelled? Or are Derby still going to drop? And uh, relatively mixed uh, voting this week. We had in last place, cherry on the cake for Derby. Nobody gives a fuck about them, basically. Uh, we had second last, West Bromwich Albion. Uh, give us Pereira. Um, then we had fuck off Karen on 28%. And the winner of the poll was contract negoti- negotiations, Bielsa's boys. Who do we keep and who do we let go then? So... With that in mind, I think we've probably already touched upon Alioski somewhat. Uh, but what I will just do quickly is ask each of your thoughts, keep or sell on Alioski, and then I'll put the uh, put the other players out to you all individually. All right. So yeah, uh, first fun. of all, Ali- Alioski, Smarty, stay or go- do we keep him or let him go? Absolutely keep him, like we've just briefly stated. Um, it'd be fantastic as a squad player. You know, the, the, the levels of energy that it brings to the team is uh, just probably unrivaled, maybe by Dallas and a couple of other really, really fit, strong players. But Alioski's right up there, you know, and you, and you can see it week in, week out, you know, they're attacking forwards or whatever, just get tied out. He'll stay with them and he'll keep up with them all day. He's not the best defender. We do all have to remember that, you know, he's not playing. He's not a natural left back. He's, he's a left he's a left winger. Um, and he also plays well on, on the right as well. I remember first season, I think he, um, uh, what were his, what were they, were, I can't remember which manager he came under. He did, he did play on the right. He played on right and he used to cut he in on left. He played there for Macedonia and, or whatever, wherever he's from. Yeah, from Chris Macedonia. Brought him in, I think. Christiansen. Christiansen, yeah, it? Um, along um, with Saiz. And them two were magic together. But yeah, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm bumbling on. But yeah. No, I'd you're all right. Keep, you're more than I'd welcome. Um, Jay, keep or get rid? Uh, well, as I just said, uh, keep him. 
I think he's an important squad player, good character to have. Absolutely. Um, and he is one of them players you can bring on back end of a game when people are knackered and he'll run around like a nutcase. All you got to do is pull the string on his back and he goes. <laughs> yeah. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> <laughs> Gilly? Keep. <laughs> Keep, yeah. No, simple as that. Um, Derek Moore's put a, basically asked the same question as, as, we, as we've come on to it. Uh, we know... we. He can almost be a pantomime villain or hero, can't he? Uh, week in, week out. You just don't know what to expect for him. Um, we've got we've had a co comment here, get rid, shocking. I think that's a little bit harsh. Um, uh, for, oh, as a squad gosh. player, we know he's not going to be playing week in, week out, but he will put the effort in. He, he's, he's a proper Leeds. He, he's sort of bought into the, the Leeds <clears> culture, <throat> you know, side before self and all that bollocks. Um, and, he, and he is a real good squad player, but... Um, moving on to other contract negotiations then and potential departees in in the summer, in a few games' time. Um, so I'm going to go on to one that's really close to all our arts, I think, here. And, and we're going to talk briefly about... Now, his, his contract's not actually up for another year. Uh, but as we know, last... I think it was last... Was it last... Was it through the uh, the Christmas, the January transfer window? There was there was rumblings of Hernandez going back to his his, his home country, uh, back to Spain and playing for his his side back there. Uh, and I think we knocked it back at the time. We expect that to come back to surface, don't we? I think in the summer. Yeah. Um, I think as yeah. far as we understand, his his <clears throat> wife and and family have moved back to Spain. Um, he obviously owns. Sharing a football club out there, and he's, he's openly said that he'd love to go back, go and play there. Um, now whether that's this summer or the summer after, he's still contracted. What are your thoughts on that, Gilly? Um, and where do you think we stand? Would we stand in his way? Um, given how how little he's featured, probably not. Um, I, I, I'm really torn on this one because I, I really want him to get an appearance in front of a packed Elland Road because he deserves it, he's earned it. And, you know, we spoke we when we were speaking about Alioski at first, uh, when we were still touching on the Spurs game, uh, you know, all those players that got us promoted, you know, they'll all live in our hearts and our minds for, for a long, long time. Um, but, you know, we're in that position where if he wants to go back and, and he wants to play and we're not playing him as much as he would like to play, it almost feels wrong to hold him to the rest of that contract. What, mm -hmm. what I think would be absolutely brilliant, and I mentioned this a couple of times, and I know others have as well, I'm not, I'm not taking the, the credit for it all, is if we can get a, um, a friendly sorted when we can get the fans back in with his club and get him back almost like yeah, as, a, a, as a thanks, but knowing that you know he's going to go somewhere else in a club that's close to him, his family are back there and, and going back to where he came from, but can, can still come and play in front of a, an Ellen Road that will give him a good reception. I, th I think that might be the best outcome for all. Do you know yeah. what I thought about? I thought about this earlier. I thought for the departing players, if we, as a pre-season friendly, invited them all to play against the, you know, in a friendly against Leeds, we'd sell out. Yeah, I, yeah. I could guarantee we'd, we'd sell Absolutely. that friendly out. Yeah. Um, given given the last year and that <clears> bad. Um, I imagine you two both feel relatively similar. Do you want me to move on to another player, or have you got anything else you'd like to add about Hernandez? I, I echo exactly what what Gilly says um, just, in that. Um, sorry, go. No, no, I just just echo exactly the same in in that we shouldn't stand in his way. He's on. He's probably on a fair bit of money. We could get somebody else in. Plus, if it's what he wants, you know, he's featured five times, ten between five and ten times this season off the bench, maybe. Um, if that hasn't he actually. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm not, so I'm yeah not but why, why haven't why haven't why haven't an unhappy player here that's not with his family uh, and everything? But yeah, if either of you two have got anything to add to that, please be my guest. Uh, otherwise, we'll we'll move on to an, an, another player. I would just like to say that it's it's a real shame in my eyes that we've not seen more of him, just because I feel like we owe him a lot. And um, yeah, we, you know, he he, he was a catalyst in that last bit of that season that got us up and. I think we owe him and he should get a proper send off. And I know you can't be sentimental in football because that'll cost you at the end of the day. But yeah, it, it leaves me a little sad, but I wouldn't stand in his way if he wanted to go home. Nah, fair point. Smart, yeah. anything to add? No, nah, not really, lads. I think you've covered it well enough. Like, I'll miss him. You know, we're, we're indebted yeah. to him. But, you know, yeah, definitely. It would be a bit, bit farewell with a tear in my eye. 
<laughs> but yeah, good luck to him. Likewise, likewise. Um, and the other one, which is going to probably break uh, probably more women's hearts, I think, than than uh, than, than us boys. Well, in fact, I fucking love him as well. Berra, <laughs> what do we do with him? Obviously, he's going to go in. He's, he's at that age now. I can't see him getting replaced. He's had his injury was. We've kept him on for that additional season um, for him to get fit and still pay him and keep him in a job because he was out actually out of contract last season, if I remember rightly. Yeah, he was, yeah. Extended yeah, that, he was, yeah. The club did the right thing and extended that by an additional year. Um, somebody just said there, put him in a coaching role. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know his personality well enough, I'm, but I'm sure if Bielsa sees that in him, then I, then, then, he, then there might be. But... Um, yeah, I'd love to Go see on, him turn up on his first day coaching with a headband on and a gee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, what? you'll have to do an initiation. I'd love, I'd love to think that Brady would have them all lined up against a wall, all, always with a pair of boxing gloves, right, right, three rounds of me, you bastards. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking toughen you up. Um, yeah, I, I, I believe he wants to move because he's wanting to. Uh, I don't know if it was Spain or Germany or something like that. What I can't remember which. Was it Italy? Oh, you might, yeah, Italy. Italy. Um, so yeah, he wants to move to Italy apparently and play over there, um, which you can't really knock him for. You know, again, I think he's been rewarded with a, a year's extension on his contract just to obviously cover him for his uh, rehab and his his injuries and stuff like that. Another another fantastic player. Who I'll be uh, sad to miss. Sad to miss. Sorry to see. Um, but yeah, he's it's another one. You know. Thanks. I thanks don't think it was that. I, I think I think the the reason that we extended his contract is because he was literally out of contract and still playing when he got injured. That's oh, because um, of the uh, oh, because of COVID. Because of COVID, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. beyond the end of his contract. So yeah, yeah. The, there were other players. It, it, right, okay. Yeah, there were other players that that said that they weren't going to. Okay. Uh, Bournemouth, well, I think, had three Charlton, at one point. Yeah, um, that said that they weren't going to play because if they get injured, then what are they going to do? That's right, yeah. Yeah, um, I remember that. So, you know, they, 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 did a, they did an extension there and as as Luke said, absolutely the right thing to do on, on the part of the club. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but he's 33 this summer um, and he's he's not he's not played any football. He, he's not the left-back we need and he's not no, going to, no. you know, we're, we're actually looking um, a bit heavy for defenders. Um, we are. If, you, if, if, if you look, you know, Lorente yeah. and Stroke are playing really well together. Um, but then you've got you've got Cooper. Um, all right, he's, he picked up a, a a bit of a knock having been banned. And then you've got Cocker. That when Phillips comes back in, who are you going to play? So you know he's not going to get in there. So you know it's a case of if he can go and he can get himself regular football, then again, fair play to him. He deserves yeah, it. Nah, I think the only thing that worries me about that uh, Gilly is. We're losing a lot of senior fucking players in one big hit, you know, and and senior figures around the change around the club that probably bring that little bit of spark around the changing room. If you think we let Fernandez uh, let Hernandez go, let um, Berardi extra, Alioski doesn't sign. That's three players there that are in the thirties that that probably are. Uh, I would say senior figures around the changing room that you know, that, that, you know that they, that a lot of the younger lads will probably look up to. Um, Alioski's only twenty nine, believe it or not. Alioski is, is he? Yeah, twenty nine. I would, ex- and, and, I would extend and, and, that. I would extend his contract hundred percent. I would. So I would. yeah, I, I I would. And and you know what? For one of those reasons is, um, if you when you speak to um, you know, he, he speaks about eight languages as well. By the way, so <laughs> yeah, players no, coming in, he so can do speak I? To. Australian, American. <laughs> English, Welsh. No, not Welsh, actually. I'm not sure about <laughs> Yeah, go on then. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to have pop dipping. <laughs> That's all so, Welsh people not listening to us anymore. <laughs> so we're in, that, we're in that position, actually, where Alioski, not, not just as a player to come on from the bench and to, to cover gaps uh, in the side when needed, but also to be a member of that squad, to train hard as he does, to, to, to allow incoming players that, you know, we're signing international standard players at the moment and, you know, to, to help with them integrating into the squad and stuff like that. I, 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 he's a character. We know he's a character. And I love yeah. him and I think he's great. And at 29, he, he's still got he's still got a, maybe a season or two to offer where I think that he's of a, a value enough to the squad to keep him on. I think ah, absolutely. So. It looks absolutely. like not everyone agrees. No, no, Jason, obviously Jason said, uh, Jason's typing in, he's, he, he's not a fan of Alioski, he's garbage um, and he can't defend at 30k a week, is he worth it? 
good points, good points, and good, good, good arguments as well. Right, mm. we're just going to move on to the other two and the final two um, from the first team that, that are going to be out of contract this uh, this summer. The first being Wasim Boy, who nobody gives a fuck what about. What a legend! See you later. I'll fucking um, give him a legend. Cult hero. Um, <laughs> and then the last one, which is going to cause some um, some debate, and I'm sure we'll have something to say about this. Jack Harrison is due to go back to Manchester City uh, this summer. I think. As I understand, the buyout clause is eleven million. I could be wrong, and I could be a million out here no, or it's, there. It's, it's, it's that, around that. It, it started off at eight, and we know it went up when we extended. I think it's um, well, you see, I think you're fucking wrong. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck off, you're wrong. Go look it up, Jay. Um, I'll look right. it up. Bro. Let's see what. So, I mean, I think, I think we, I think apparently, Jason's saying here we're, we. We're obliged. Jason's to buy him. I don't think that's the case. Been, Are you pissed up, up Jason? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think we have any obligation. I think it was. I think it was an option to buy. Um, I, but I could. I could well be proven wrong, and I, but I'm not often wrong. And if I am, I'll fire. Um, and uh, yeah. So, what do we think about Aris? And I think we've got to keep signing for that. You're not going to get oh, another no, left winger no, for, for that million. Oh, well, go on me. then. What? Go on then, Jay. Tell me your thoughts on uh, on Jack. I think he's great, and he haven't, yeah, he has the odd bad game, but I I think his quality and his he's come on so far from when we first signed him that you know he might not be the finished article yet, but if he keeps progressing like he has, he's he's going to be a quality player, and you know you might not like him. Some people don't. I I, I don't get that, but either way, he's going to be worth twice that in a year or two's time after he's played a bit more football under Bielsa. Do you know what I mean? At Premiership prices, no, no. you're not going to lose money on him. Right. Yeah. No. I mean. I mean. Transfer market's got him valued at thirty and a half million already. So if we sign him for eleven million, yeah, exactly. we could probably sell him. We could probably sell him an English left winger at the age of what is he, twenty three, twenty four. Um, we could probably sell him for double that in the in the same week. You know, we could sell buy him for eleven and sell him for for double that. Um, yeah, exactly. um Smarty, anything to say on on Jack? If it isn't an obligation, if it is an option, what would you do? Either way, I think we should sign him. Absolutely, he's a fantastic player. I mean, he's had his he's had his peaks and troughs, as we all know. Sometimes he can go missing, um, but then when he's on it, he's absolutely on it. I mean, look at the Liverpool game. Look at, against you know Tottenham uh, the weekend. Some of the crosses he puts in, you're thinking, Jesus. Um, some of them, obviously, they're, they're getting awful. them off the roof at some the end of the game. Awful. Like <laughs> some, yeah, exactly. Some of them are absolutely fucking horrendous, but. If you weren't to sign him, you'd be a bloody fool because he's fantastic Absolutely. and he's got the sexiest touch I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he has. He has, got he has touch myself a little bit when I see him touching the ball. <laughs> there but, was um, um, there was a couple of times this weekend though when I was watching the game and we got the ball on the we got ball on edge at box and every time I got it I went not him and every time <laughs> the ball just fucking ended up in Rose Ed. I think there was about three occasions it happened. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think you're quite right. Eleven million absolutely snapped their hands off. Anything to add, Gilly? Um, just on uh, just the fact he's he's twenty four, and you know we've had him on loan for three seasons now, and he's he, yeah. he's you know there's there's been there's certainly no limit I've seen to his potential yet, you know yeah. he's certainly not hit the ceiling on on where where his potential's gonna go, um and if you think that wingers, uh, you know central midfielders, central defenders, keepers are, are a bit older, but wingers, you know, you're looking for them to hit their peaks at 27, 28, 29. Well, that, that mm. means he's got three to five years worth of improvement still to do yet. So, yeah. you'd have to be absolutely crazy. So, on yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. And must be on the verge of an England call-up as well. Got to be considered as well. Yeah. yeah. If Southgate yeah. doesn't consider him, it. you know, there's something wrong. Yeah, one th one thing I'm just going to do as well with it, although they're not out of contract, I'm just going to ask each of you just to uh, to give me one player that you'd think we should be looking to ship out either on loan or for transfer funds and Kiko. your reason and your reason why. Um, obviously, obviously, I don't want to hear Kiko because he's a racist because <laughs> we're impartial here on this uh, on, on this podcast. But uh, but no, no. So, so, I mean, for me, it'd be Tyler Roberts on loan for a season because I think there is a player in there. Um, and I think alone at a a decent championship side, probably Brentford, because they won't come up again, or somewhere like that, will do him do his confidence and um, 
and, and, and his progression the world of good he's still only a young kid he's only 23 and I think we forget oh 22 even um, mm. and I think we forget that because he's been featured so heavily this season and last season we forget how young he is we signed him for, uh, 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 as a as a wonder kid from West Brom, he was meant to be the next big thing. I think we we paid next to nothing uh, for him, uh, so that'd be my choice anyway. Uh, what about you, Smarty? Who would you look to get rid of, and why? I would get rid of uh, Costa. Um, I don't think he can cut it. I don't. You know, he's, he's, he does he does the odd flash here and there, and he's fast, and he he puts himself around a bit. But as far as I'm concerned, nah, fucking see you later. Um, I wouldn't put him out on loan. I'd just get rid, get some pennies for him. He's probably worth 10, 11 million to maybe. What did you uh, pay for him? Was it seventeen from Wolves? Fifteen, I believe. 15, 14, 15 million. Um, fucking absolutely had our pants down for both fucking Douglas and oh, Costa, didn't they? We were well, laughing all the way to the bank. Um, just like we did Tottenham with uh, Jack Clark. But, um, and they got us back with fucking pitch. <laughs> and they fucking sold us <laughs> the fucking ice cream. Bastards. Hey, but then we beat them on it. Yeah, yeah and then we beat them on their own turf, that. didn't we? Beat them on their own turf, yeah. Um, but yeah, I agree with Roberts. There is a player in there. I think he just needs to toughen up. Not necessarily sharpen up, because some of the stuff he does, I think is great. Um, his awareness and his vision is, is fairly good. I think he just needs to toughen up. Um, and, and play a little bit more, maybe a little bit harder football championship, yeah. maybe a championship team. Some, so I agree with you on Roberts. Fuck Costa. See you later, pal. Um, Gilly, who's your who's who we shipping out? I'm I'm sticking. I'm going with Kiko, and it's not because he's racist. It's because he's divisive, and <laughs> you know, we 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 don't want to see him in in the in the side. You know, people don't want him to play, and regardless of what the reasons are, it might be the fact that. Your heart's in your mouth every time he plays. It might be the fact that he, he, he can't come and catch out. a ball. Sell pervader. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Another day off. Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't know you're yanking us fucking is that, is that Rex? He's so much a kid. Pulling out pieces. Anyway, so uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, uh, Fair Kiko, point. I, I, I would bring point. somebody in that, um, that can have a solid enough game that we can rely on. Um, that's Robert towards Green. the end of their, yeah, somebody <laughs> like you know, somebody <laughs> like that. But towards the end of their career, that yeah, yeah, can bring I know on can be back up to him. Don't expect to play week in, week out because Melier is. The superb. only thing I, the only thing I worry about that Gilly is Bielsa has a lot of time for Kiko, and there's a reason for it, and and we don't know what goes on in the club. He could be clubman of the year. He could fucking help with everything that we don't know these kids. He, we just don't know. But Bielsa does rate him and rates him highly and he stands by him and supports him. So, um, yeah, I think I think you're well within your reason. He does create division, especially online and on Twitter. Um, you've got half people saying he's racist, half people trying to stick up for him. He's not. He, we, you just don't need that. You don't need... We've, we hate each other enough as Leeds fans without fucking somebody, you know, to, to, <laughs> to, 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 to throw that in the mix. But, um, but, yeah, we'll move on to you, Jay, then. Who do you think we should be looking at... Um, Maybe <clears throat> shipping out either on loan or or for some cash ready money for beer. Um, it's a it's a tough one, really. I think um, I'd have to agree on Kiko purely because of the sort of amount of money that we're spending on him that could be better spent elsewhere. I think. Yeah. And as, I just like, as you say, you know, Bielsa obviously likes him, but mm -hmm. I don't see the benefit to him or us anymore. And he's got weird legs. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah it's it's weird. Weird. could stop a pig in a passage. Right. Are they real uh, legs? Got weird legs. Have you not seen his <laughs> legs? No, I've not got legs. No, I've not got legs. I'm going to Google it in a bit. No, <laughs> Definitely could not <laughs> stop a pig in a passage. <clears throat> well, he can't stop a fuck. He gets like it's at front post, isn't it? All the time. I think. I think on Roberts, possibly, but that depends who we bring in. I think the answer to this question really depends who we bring in. Um, what you got to remember with Roberts is they were gutted with the West Brom fans when we got him, mm -hmm. and you know there's a reason for that. And this is the first time we've seen him play a season without being like hampered with constant injuries. And I, I think he is, you know, he's, I don't he's think he's, I don't think he's been system. that injury prone, has he? I thought I thought it was Hernandez oh, yeah. keeping him out most of the last season. Um, no, he, would, and, he, he would recover him from that joint issue, didn't he? And an infection yeah, in yeah. That. for a long time. So. That's great. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. but yeah, I, I mean, beyond that, maybe Shackleton, 
because what's he done this season? Mm. Like there were there were a time he'd come through and he looked like a promising young player and people were sort of excited. Are to you see thinking him. laundry? Or, oh, yeah, or yeah. I'll get rid. No, I won't sell. I won't sell. I'd learn there's so many youth coming through. I mean, there's uh, I don't know what that name is. S nine six five one 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 eight. It's a very strange <laughs> yeah. name. Uh, is Lone Greenwood out to a championship? Yes, there are, there are plenty of under twenty threes that probably would benefit from going out yeah. alone. But um, you know, Very we can talk talk about that till the cows come home. You know, there's so oh, many yeah, of them that are looking, you know, fringe. Don't, don't forget they're also stepping up a level this time round. So exactly. they will they, yeah. you know, they will come up against um but, uh, the, the the better under twenty threes now. But that's City another thing. Coming, like, the the talent we've got waiting to come through now is I better than when, <laughs> it's better than when um, Shackleton came through, I think. Nah, fair Can I throw a yeah, well, off you all? Go on. What do, we, what do we do with Forshaw? Sure? We we're just about to ask that, you bastard. Him, <laughs> <laughs> See, I think he's a solid there. I think he's a solid backup for uh, for KP, I mean for Phillips. Solid? You, you're describing him as solid. <laughs> well, apart from the he's had out. <laughs> apart from the fact he's made out of biscuits, <laughs> he's rock <laughs> solid. No, but it's I mean, in terms of his, his, in terms of his, in terms of his footballing ability and his his football brain, and and the fact you know that he can he can pretty much almost do a Calvin Phillips sixty percent of Calvin Phillips' job is what I'm saying. So you I wouldn't miss him in. You wouldn't miss him. You wouldn't miss Calvin if we had a if it, you know if we were playing somebody's shit or we had a cup game or, or something. Is what I'm probably getting at more solid. Probably not the best description, uh, not the best adjective for uh, to go before for sure either. So, um, Mr. 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 so Glass. yeah, just I'd, but I think there's better. So uh, depending on what we he's can only get got for a him. season left though. D- yeah. Do you let him see out a year of his contract and yeah. see if he can get back to that? And but if he's if he's going to be unfit, why not just go let him play for somebody shit like Chef Wednesday? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but the or thing is, like, though, like, when, when Bielsa came in by like, the start of that season, he always held for sure as his favourite player, the best player. Yeah. And, he, and at the start of the Bielsa's you know, terms, he, he, he were absolutely street's head. He was fantastic. Yeah. I remember the game that he played against Derby at home. We beat Spygate him at home. Game. Um, it was fantastic. Absolutely dynamite in Spygate now. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen more complete performance. Um, from 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 him, um, and Good and player. probably quite, quite quite a few other players. He was absolutely dynamite, fantastic player. And then he obviously got injured. Um, he's got so much potential, and he's still relatively young. He's not an old player, um, but he's he's an absolutely sterling player. If you don't cut it this season, if you don't make it back into to championship th- uh, to um, our starting eleven, then you know offload him to a championship team or whatever. The he's thing not is, we. Is it? We, the back. thing is, we're open to push on, aren't we? We are open to yeah. move to the next level next season, which is we're probably going to finish mid-table. We want to be pushing Europa League spots, I would I would say, arguably, mm. uh, or another strong top half finish at least. If we're going to improve the team, we've seen how, how shit we are without Calvin in the team. Uh, we need somebody probably who is that little bit mm. better than 60% of Calvin Phillips when he's not fit or when he's, yeah, when yeah. he's suspended or whatever. So... That's up to How much are you going to pay recruit. for that sort of player, though? Yeah, if but you've already got a player like Cork that with him. That... Weekend. Sorry? Hey. Cock played there at weekend, and we've got three other first team centre backs. Yeah. So it's not, I, I, and genuinely, I, I I would like, I mean, him and Stroik have had a fantastic time of it at centre back together. But I would like to, I, you said it weekend, Luke, I'd like to see Lorente in there as well, just, just, mm. just to see what he can do in there. So it's not like we're without. Good enough players to do that role. Yeah, good point. No, good point. So, 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 in which yeah. case, do we even need for sure? That's what I mean. I think just for your wages, I think he played better there than Ben White ever did. Um, in that position, and also yeah. for sure, you, you keep saying, Oh, yeah, you've got for sure, he can do this, he can do that. Bielsa likes him. You can't count on a guy that we don't know if he's ever going to play again. You can't count on him. You can't say, Oh, well, we've got this guy in the squad because you aren't right now. He's a non entity. You're a fucking brand Good new point. it now, so we are. Yeah, but if he comes back I and he gets fucking brand new, took it out of Why do you think he's not playing? <laughs> I think I think we him. could probably we could probably spend ages on this subject, and we could no. probably go on to who, who we're going to bring in, to, you know, to challenge for new places. But we'll maybe put that in next week's poll um, uh, no, and yeah. talk about poten- potential new signings and, and, and positions that we need to strengthen. And hopefully that wins next week because uh, we've obviously got some good good points on that. So. Uh, so yeah, I think that wraps it up on yeah, uh, Bielsa's boys and uh, and where we are in terms of contract negotiations. Thank you guys. Yes, wonderful. Thanks for that, mate. That way, uh, 
I, I enjoyed that actually. I like talking about that sort of stuff. It's uh, it's good. Yeah, I do. Um, so moving on then this weekend, Burnley game, Mr. Dash. Um, what are we, what are we uh, obviously joining us, but you know, Mr. Dash is joining us. This uh, very kind of him, all the way from Burnley. What do we reckon then? What do we think? They're a good team on the day. They're very well drilled, very well disciplined. Jay, what do we think we're going to do with Burnley? Um, I think we're going to kick shit out of them and give them a bloody nose. I think we're going to right. um, win the game. I don't know, it's, Physically it's assaulting. Not a game, it's not a game of Kabaddi, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching Cobra Kai again. I'm a bit fired up. Um, no, I think, uh, I think we'll beat them as long as we don't do a Brighton. As long as we don't turn up thinking, oh, these are shit, we should, we should beat these and we don't raise our game. Um, the only real danger in their team is Chris Wood. And I still love that guy. He's awesome. And he mm. went for 20 quid yesterday. I think Sean Dyche is a bit of a danger, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking players, man. I'm talking players. Oh. Um, it's a shame that we're not like able to be in the ground this season because it would have been interesting to see what sort of reception Wood and um, Taylor would have got and stuff. But yeah, I, I, I Burnley, one of them sides, I just feel like they're a nothing side. Like they don't offer anything and nobody would notice if they weren't there. Do you know what I mean? And there's no ambition at the club to ever be anything because they've got a small fan base and they're kind of they're happy to just stay in the lane. They just want to stay in the Premier League and if they achieve anything it's it's a bonus. And I've got no time for that. I wanna I wanna put them to bed and finish them off. I wanna give them a kick in. Easy Tiger. No no go on lad. Put them to bed and finish him off. He's had a couple of Viagras as Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Gilly, what are your thoughts on the Burnley match, mate? I think we're going to absolutely fucking spank them. Yeah. Pulverize um, the bastards. That's it. You'll look at their, their most recent results. So um, they beat Fulham 2 0, but, you know, Bladigan aside, they 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 were down. They were shit. They, they, yeah, they're just shit. By the odd goal to, to West Ham, which, you know, that's not a bad result for them. They spanked Wolves at Wolves. Got beat by its scum, but they, but before that, they lost to Southampton and, and Newcastle, who were two at worst sides in league, because yeah. Newcastle didn't have their returning uh, forwards by then. So it, there's a lot of variability in 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 that. Uh, my only concern is we play well against Liverpool. We'll play well against City. Um, we play well against uh, Spurs, and we play shit against Brighton. Do we play shit again? I I I, I genuinely I, I I think we're gonna I do think we're gonna steamroller them though. Um, I've gone five one. Fuck no, really. Skip it ahead, Fuck but I think we're gonna that. spank them. I think, Christ, um, I think I think you're I think you're right. I think I'd, I'd love to see a spank a team, but they are well drilled and they're quite you know they they do defend well, don't they? They, they you know they, they're one of them. So I don't think we'll we'll have a Brighton sort of result on his hands. I think that might have been a lesson learned that one. I'd like to hope that it was, given how we've been playing, you know, lately. But um, go on, go on, Luke. Give us your uh, give us your thoughts on Burnley, mate. How are you going to play against us? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think you I think you think you're quite right. I think they're made, they're almost made up of a team of journeymen, aren't they? Do you know they've not ever really signed. Anybody exciting or they're Charlie almost Taylor. yeah. That's <laughs> well, Chris Woods had about fifteen different clubs, and it. You know what I mean? And yeah, like, yeah. He's doing fantastic for him, and he's he's a dangerous, dangerous striker. Um, and as you see, I don't know if anyone watched the game. Was it last night? I think they beat uh, Fulham two 0 Um, mm. I kept to that um really but but they were they were boring to watch. You know, sort of they don't play nice football, but that mm. often is our kryptonite. Um, teams that lump it forward with a couple of big lads, a couple of quick lads on the wings, and, and we just seem to be pulled to pieces. Any team that keeps it on the floor and wants to play a bit against us, we'll, we'll match them, um, mm. simply because of our fitness. Um, so, so yeah, I think it's going to be... I mean, it, I, I'm not, I don't really want to predict until I've heard Brennan Smart's predictions, um, because <laughs> I want to make sure I'm going slightly different to at least give myself an opportunity to go top. So... Um, but I think I think it should be I think it should it should be on paper be a, be a comfortable win given recent performances minus the blip at uh, at the Amex. So so yeah, looking forward to it I suppose. But uh, as we all know, we do struggle with with that sort of side. Mm. Apart from Chris Wood, then have we got any uh, players to watch? Um, I'm not necessarily a, a Barnes fan, 
but uh, he can unleash fury because he's a bloody good. He's got a bloody good shot on him, hasn't he? But uh, anyone else got any players that they'd like to yeah, see? Rodriguez, if he plays. Yeah. Vidra's yeah, Vidra's still in City Square. He won't. He, he won't be there, will he? Sat, sat down. He's been. Stuff. He's been playing. He's been playing. He's, oh, he's had a real, real, real run. He played last night. He played well, actually. He's to be fair. Shit. He played so well. So well we didn't find him, didn't we? So we did. Several times. Because that's uh-huh. we're going to be like all money on him, wasn't it? We're going to buy. Him what it between like, him and Bamford? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, and and of, of course, you know, we mentioned Charlie Taylor, but but you do seem to be uh, forgetting Bailey Peacock Farrell. I mean, come oh, on. Farrell? <laughs> Farrell? Farrell? Fucking Popper Don Bailey Rists. Peacock Farrell. Farrell. Fucking Popper Don Wrists. Yeah, yeah, who can forget? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> um, what was what was the return? I'm just trying to find the return fixture result. What, what, what was Charlie the, Taylor still look like he's grown a beard? Just it's being, idea. one nil or wait, two <laughs> nil. <laughs> we beat him, score? didn't we? I think we're 1 0 here. Yeah. I think we're beating 1 0. Don't look I can't right. remember. Hey, have a look. Anybody else? I know we beat, we definitely beat him because head to head. Yeah, we beat him 1 0 at home. Yeah, if I all won. Right. Um, Thank you. Odds, Thank you, Matt. You got 19 to 10 for Burnley to win and 13 to 10 for Leeds to win. In Get fact, your house. You know, th- thinking about that, that home fixture, because I'm saying 5 1 because uh, I think we'll get an early goal and then, you know, they can't just sit back and. Uh, and just defend against us. But thinking about that home fixture was uh, a Bamford penalty at first 10 minutes, and then we did nothing for the rest of the game. So... <laughs> You're not changing it now, you twat. I'm not. Yeah. I'm just going to be five <laughs> <words. It's laughs> <fine. laughs> Uh, yeah, are we expecting lot. anybody coming back for that back for that game? Have we got uh, any 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 sight of? Uh, well, obviously they both came on, didn't they, for the last five ten minutes uh, yeah. last week? So Did we expect everybody I'm back. T- I, I, I was going to say I'd anticipate a full squad, apart from for sure. Yeah, for sure. You never got know. No for now, are they? They, like you said, they're just a team of journeymen, so I won't be surprised if they're just like yeah, fucking whatever, you know. But obviously that's our style. style. We'll we'll go for jugular. Hopefully, Imagine yeah. Be yeah, right. toying with us. Forshaw just turns up in a team before I end up season. <laughs> 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 All right, then. Fucking hell. <laughs> I, thought you'd, I, thought, I thought you were on loop. I thought you'd fucking get into that and gone <laughs> <laughs> So, um, like, go on, can then. we go into predictions then? Yes. Um, seeing as though we're talking five ones and this, that, and the other. Gilly, are you locking that one in? I am. We're I'm done. Jay. Five ones. I'm we're going to go in. Jay. Do, do we need to ask? No, mate. Same as usual. Four ones got to happen sometime. <laughs> four one, four one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go two nil leads. I can't believe you've gone before, Mez, when he said that all he wanted to do. Was... He's below me in I table. Know, He's I, above I, me in I, table, though. I, so I it's only fair. No, that's fair. It'd only fair. T- it, it, it'd say two nil, and then I'd say two nil, and he'd only say I'd copied him anyway. So <laughs> you've got <laughs> something to go off now. You've clean sheet. Two nil leads. I'm gonna go three one leads. Oh, mm. expecting them to score against us, are you? Chris Wood is going to haunt us with the early one. Chris Wood, <laughs> an early header, an early bullet header. <laughs> Not I hope he's done with, with a, a, a lane room pitch clearance. <laughs> I'll never forget that goal he scored against Derby. Oh, I was there. Fucking, oh. fucking brilliant. Well, yeah. Fucking bastard. I were there in. I were in. Um, I were in the. Uh, Derby, whatever. What do you call it when they pay for you to drink and that? There, hospitality. Hospitality. Yeah, Good fellow I used to work for. He, he was the part owner of Derby County, um, and yeah, he used to have to take clients and stuff there. So I was you really want to admit that. Celebrated <laughs> it loud. It's not Uncle anymore. Mel. The com- it's probably no. It wasn't Mel. It was uh, the the, com- <laughs> the company I worked for. Fucking got disintegrated or something. I don't, I don't want to go into it online, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all to do, not to do with yeah, you, yeah. though, Luke. No, yeah, um, no, absolutely not. Um, so yeah, I was there anyway. Celebrating like fucking all the Derby fans just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Um, right then, I don't know if you want to discuss anyone else's. Have we had any other predictions? I don't think we have. Have we? No. Uh, yeah. No, so we'll, we will go into everyone's favourite topic, and that is, of course, the hock topic between this week's manager, Mr. Sean Dyche, and, of course, the ever-famous Mr. Hockaday. So, Thomas Brolin, hock <laughs> or not to hock? 
Got to hock, mate. Got to hock. How, how could you do any other? You know, one's got a proven track record, the other's Sean Dash. I'm going with that. <laughs> what does uh, what, uh, what Luke? Are you going to go with yourself, or are you going to choose? I am, mate. Yeah. So I'm obviously going to go with my uh, my spitting image uh, <laughs> oh, simply because go. I think he's uh, he's kept a shit little town. In fucking Lancashire, in the Premier League, I think is it their sixth season now. In the row, I think they've been in there. Yeah, five or six, which is yeah. some some fucking achievement given what a shit all Burnley is. Can't believe I'm going to work. There, I hope there's so. no Leeds fans from Burnley listening to this. I apologise if there are. I, I, it is a shit. If there you is, they shit will all. probably agree. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with uh, SD. I'm going for it, big SD. Big SD. High five yourself, Gilly. To hawk or not to hawk? Fuck dice, the Millwall bastard. That's right. <laughs> Didn't someone do an impression of it? That'll do it for me. Well, then you do, you do his voice, Gilly. <laughs> oh, you mean teasing bastard, yeah? Fucking <laughs> okay, boss selector. <laughs> That's what he sounds like, Mel B. Off boss selector. Look at this guy, did you call him? Dice, boss selector. Crabpaste. Who? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fucking Millwall bastard. Go on, Gilly, finish off, lad. No, that's it. He's a Millwall bastard. You know, if, you get booked, I'm going if he finishes quick, does Gilly? I can't really. I can't really. I don't want to that, to be honest, because like, like Luke says, you know, he's a fucking... How the fuck he's kept them up in that league? Jesus Christ. In that little town with the weird people with webbed fingers and webbed toes. <laughs> it's just crazy, isn't it? And it then obviously, you know, of course, Hawker Day, is teaching the, you know, the future of our children is taking that into consideration. So it's got to be the Hawk. Fuck that, I couldn't. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed again. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn one flawless, day. Flawless victory. A flawless victory for the Hawker Day and his 10-metre <laughs> swimming badge. Another win for the Hawk on his way to the Champions League. So, <laughs> chaps, um, I don't know if any of you have got anything else to add. Uh, we've rambled on for pretty much an hour now. I probably did. Any, if any, we've got anything else to add before we close. Yeah, just 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 one thing. So, um, just want to do uh, do a, do a, a bit of a sales pitch for M Render, who is fantastic, by the way. Um, yes. And she's doing um, uh, for for motor neuron disease. She, she's uh, putting some money towards charity for anybody that's that's buying one of the. The bureau prints, and I'll just uh, remind people that there's a scroll on the bottom. Myself, Adam, and Brenda doing Yorkshire Three Peaks um, for um, fundraising for MND Association. Anything that you can sponsor uh, is gratefully received, and we'll share the links in the comments of the videos. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and yes, but speaking of videos, don't forget to um, subscribe to our audio and YouTube accounts if you will, if you haven't already. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks for your comments, Jason. Before you do go, uh, we have got something exciting coming up on Thursday. Yes, we do. We've got an interview with Graham, who I believe is the vice chairman from uh, LUFC Trust. Uh, so uh, from 7 o'clock on Thursday evening, it'll be, I think, myself and Gilly. Yep, Gilbert. Dangerous duo. Gilbert. Um, yep. who will be speaking with Graham. So get get your questions in. Uh, they obviously uh, have a lot to do with the club. Um, we've got some questions mm. lined up, but uh, no holds barred. We're going to get up close and personal with them and see what they've got coming up uh, in yep. the pipeline and any plans that they have got. Um, obviously, as well, got stats before the game coming up live. Hopefully, if his internet decides to work. <laughs> on... <laughs> Is it going to be Saturday, isn't it? Love stats. Saturday, at... it's lunchtime, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Fucking early kickoff, kick man. Um, Are we going so in off the bat all... next week? Next week it'll uh, be, yeah. yeah I'll see you all in the original oak. I'll see you all in the original oak about 12, yeah? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, like, like, uh, like Luke said, if you've got any any, any questions for uh, for the trust or whatever, feel free to DM us and uh, and we'll see what we can do in regards to uh, for, to, to get them over. But uh, unless there's anything else, guys, um, thanks all for listening. Uh, stay safe and we will see you next time. Cheers, fellas. See you, lads. Thanks a lot. See you in a bit.